Hi guys, today I'm going to introduce myself. Well, my name is Hung Blish Komidan. I'm 26 years old. I come from Vietnam, which is the province in the center of Vietnam. It's about 700 kilometers to the north of Ho Chi Minh City. You know, it's really far from here. And now I live in Tang Phu Dutchess. I'm an automation engineer. I graduated from University of Technical Education, Ho Chi Minh City, where I majored in machinery, machinery manufacturing technology. I have learned a lot with. I have working for. I have been working for two years at Vidam Joint Joint Venture. I have learned a lot within a short period of time and I have taken on many roles and responsibility within the company after graduating. I think everyone has their own weakness and strength and so do I. I always have been a great team player. I also work on my own very effectively and I have to say my strong state is my attention to detail. This state has helped me to make program become easier. Plus my personality is a diligent person who work who works hard until the job is done. I mean, I take great care doing things right and never give up until it's perfectly finished. So I always finish the planning of comedy before deadline. I feel my English, my English ability is my weak trait. I know this only is a temporary problem. I will start it hard to master English and have perfect pronunciation. Hopefully I can use my English skill to do something truly outstanding in the future. So I set a clear goal for myself and care deeply about my progress so that I can communi communicate more effectively is also my short term goals and my long term goals. I want to be an expert at my position and start training to be a manager. I would like to become a leader a leader came in the Samsung Electronics Company. This company is a leader in the industry and it would be an honor to work there. So I'm willing to work hard to achieve this goal because I don't want to regularly career. I want to special career that I can be proud of. In terms of my hobby, I really love playing football, badminton, and listening English to music when I have spare time. To me, exercising regularly is the best way to keep healthy and to reduce stress after a hard day of work or start a new day and new day energetically and special and special I like traveling with my friend by motorbike as the saying goes traveling from a young man therefore through traveling I can learn cultures customs where I visit where I visit, where I visit, I also can taste different kinds of food. That's my favorite tea. That my favorite bar.
Well, I'm going. I'm going to talk a little bit my. A little bit about my family. There are five people in my family. My parents, my siblings, my parents are farmer. My parents spoil me a lot and love me unconditionally. I mean, they are kind of sounding bored when I come from Blabram. They teased me right from wrong. I hope my parents remain strong and live with me forever. And I hope I have more free time to come back home more frequently. So I am going to talk about. Many story. Baseball pig. There is a little pig. The pig wants to be a baseball player. Every day he practices baseball. He practices hitting a baseball. He wants to be a big hitter. After ten years of practice. The pig decides to try out for the New York Yankees, the most the most famous baseball team in America. He takes a direct flight to New York, then rents a car and drives to Yankee Stadium. He tries out for the Yankees, but the Yankees reject him. The Yankees manager says. I'm sorry, you are amazing baseball player, but we can let a bit join our team. The big is very unhappy. He goes home. He goes home and cries every day. <laughs> Finally, his friends say to him, "Come on, get a grip, stop crying, and try again with another team." The pig listens to his friend. He stops crying. He practices baseball every day. One day, he reading the newspaper and he finds out that the that the San Francisco Giants need new baseball player. The pig immediately flies to San Francisco. He tries out for Zan. The Zans are very impressed with the big. The manager says, "Wow, you are the best hitter I have ever seen." The Zan hire the big and base him to Doros. In his first game, the big hits five home runs. Everyone in San Francisco loves the big. The Zan give him a big raise. They pay him five five hundred forty million dollars. The big is rich, famous, and happy. Then green tea. Green tea. There is a frog. She lives in Austin, Texas. The frog really loves tea. Every day she drinks eighty-five cups of tea. Her favorite tea is green tea. One day she meets the penny man. The man tells the frog, "If you love green tea, you should go to the pen. The pen has the best green tea in the world." The frog is very excited. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any money. She needs money to buy a plane ticket to Japan. She wants to buy a Japan rail bus as well. So she goes to her mom. She asks her mother, "Can you please give me four thousand dollars? I want to go to Japan to drink green tea." 
Her father say, her mother say, "Are you crazy? I don't have four thousand dollars." The frog doesn't give up. She goes to her dad and says, "Dad, can you please give me four thousand dollars? I really want to go to the pen to drink green tea." Her father say, "I want to help you for sure, but..." I just don't have the money. Why don't you go to the bank and get money? The frog runs to the bank. She goes inside and looks around. And looks around. She sees a giant safe in the back. She goes to her to go to the safe because it's more frog. No one sees her. She gets into the safe and takes seven thousand four hundred sixty-two dollars. Then she leaves the bank. No one sees her. She buys a first-class ticket to Japan, and a Japan rail bus. When she arrives in Kyoto, Japan, she immediately she immediately goes to a tea shop. She buys. One hundred twenty-six cups of tea, and drink some more. She smiles and says, "That's the best tea I have ever had." Fat man, very so fat man. The man is very fat. He weighs five hundred pounds, two hundred and twenty-seven kilos. When he walks, he always gets tired. The very fat man wants to lose weight. In fact, his doctor tells him, "You must lose weight, or you will die." The fat man is scared. He doesn't want to die, so he starts dieting. For one month, he eats only a glass of cold. The glass tastes terrible, but the man really wants to lose weight. Unfortunately, after one month, he is still very fat. He doesn't lose any weight, not one pound. The fat man is frustrated. He decides to exercise every day. He walks twelve miles. Every day he is very tired. In fact, he is exhausted. But after one month, the man is still very fat. Oh no! He is extremely frustrated. He decides to give up. He goes to her. He goes to a restaurant. He wants to eat everything because he's. Is so frustrated. At the restaurant, he meets a beautiful woman. She likes him. He likes her. They begin to date. Every day, the woman cooks healthy food for the fat man. His new girlfriend makes a difference in his life. The fat man loses weight after six years. After six months. He weighs only one hundred seventy pounds, seventy-seven kilos. He thin, and he has wonderful girlfriend. The man is rude. The man and his girlfriend are both rude. A kiss, colors by the new car. It's a very expensive car. It's a huge, blue, fast car. While driving down the street, Carlos sees a girl on the bicycle. She has long blonde hair and is beautiful. He yells to her, "What's up?" She ignores him. He yells, "How's it going?" She keeps. Going and ignores him. He yells, "Hey, why won't you talk to me? I want to go to dinner with you." 
I'll take you to an expensive restaurant. The girl turns, gets off the bike, and looks at and looks at, and looks at him. She says, "I don't want to go to dinner, but if you give me your call, I will give you a surprise." Carlos says, "Okay." He jumps out of the car. He gives her the keys and says, "Here are the keys." The beautiful blonde takes the keys, and then kisses Carlos on the cheek. Then she jumps into the car and drives away. Carlos stands on the sidewalk. Now he has no car, no girl, and says, "That's it." Just a kiss on a cheek. He gets on her bike and rides home. Seeking India, I'm in India, traveling boy myself. It's a great place and I love it. I arrive in a town called Jaipur. Though I like the country, I have a big problem. I ate some bad food. Now my stomach is bad. Every day my stomach gets worse. In the in the beginning. I already had nausea. I lost my appetite, but now I've got diarrhea and vomiting too. I feel terrible. However, I want to see dog poo, so I leave my hotel and walk into the city. The city is filled with old stone buildings. Some of the buildings are painted blue. I made my way to a huge hill in the middle of the city. On top of the hill is the big fort. I hail a cab to take me to the top of the hill. When I arrive, I walk around the fort. The views from the top are amazing. I can see a whole city. I'm walking. When suddenly I get a sharp pain in my in my stomach. Oh, I cry. I sit down. My skin is pale. I feel weak. A British tourist, a British tourist, a British tourist comes over and asks me, "Are you okay?" No, I say. I think I need to see a doctor. The British woman says, "I'll help you. I'll take you a doctor now." We we walk out of the fort and find a taxi. Well, we tell we tell the taxi driver, "Take her to the nearest hospital." The taxi driver looks at me, looks at me and say, "You don't look good. You look." Red, white, sort of like a bog, sort of like a goat. You definitely need to a doctor. He drives fast down the hill through the streets to a small hospital. We go into the hospital. The British girl say he needs to see a doctor. He is very sick. The nurse. Give me some papers and says, fill out the forms. Be sure to fill in all the information correctly. There are seven. There are there are seventy eight bases to fill out. Each base has seven. Each base has sixty seven blanks to fill in. Oh my God! I say I'm too sick to do this. I want to see a doctor now. She nurse says you must fill you. You must fill out all the forms first. I'm too sick to do it. So instead, I fall on the floor and as a as a sip. 
I'm having a seizure. I kiss, I kick my legs, wave my arms, and yell really loud. She nurse says, "Oh my God!" She runs and gets the doctor. She, they take me in a room, and the doctor is in my, is 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 in my, me. He says, "You will be okay, but you can't eat any more in your curries." You can only eat bananas and white rice. Rice. He he gives me a big banana. I ate it and I'm very unhappy. My stomach feels much better. Conversation job in the wheel. Hello, Kara. How are you? It's great to finally meet you. I'm great. It's a pleasure to meet you too. Can you tell me a little bit about your background in marketing? Of course. Well, I graduated from Brown University, where I majored in marketing. I have been working for the last three years at Intel Marketing. I've blo- I've learned a lot within a short period of time, and I have taken on many roles and responsibility within the company. Great! Can you tell me about your strengths? So I'm. I'm a great team player. I have strong attention to detail. I have to say, my strongest trait is my communication. In my communication skills, excellent color. I'm going to cut right to the chase. You come highly recommended, and your references were impeccable. You seem like a perfect fit for our firm. Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that because it's having a goal of like mine to work the to work here. This company is a leader in the industry, and it would be an honor to work there. Cora, I have good news for you. I want to offer you the position. Ah, uh, it would be an all. It would be a pleasure to have you join our team. Oh, that is so wonderful! Thank you for this great opportunity. Welcome aboard. Conversation. Checking room. Good evening. Welcome to the Eastern Hotel. How may I help you? Hey, how's it going? Do you have a rainy rooms available tonight? Do you have a reservation for tonight? No, I was hoping I get lucky, and you and you have some rooms available. Oh, I don't know. We're really slammed. We're really slammed tonight. But let me check. Thanks. I'll keep my fingers crossed. Good news. You're looking. Good news. You're in luck. We got one room. We got one room available. It's a single non smoking room. Oh, awesome! How much is it? It's a hundred bucks per night, but that includes a continental breakfast. Okay, perfect. I'll check it. How long will you be staying with us? I'll I'll be staying with one night. Can 
Can I have your credit card? Oh, I can pay with cash. Sorry, we only accept credit cards. Okay, don't worry. Okay, here is your keys to room 105. And check out it's at noon. Have a great night. Thanks. You too. Good night. This is the VOA Special English Education Report. Getting a job can be especially difficult for someone with a recent record. So, a recent training program in the American Northwest prepare women to start their own businesses. The program is called Lifelong Information for Entrepreneurs or Life. The training combines business and social skills. The women learn how to manage their time, set goals, and settle conflicts peacefully. Sarissa Weekly is serving five years for assault at the Coffee Creek Correctional Facility, a women's prison in Oregon. She has a job waiting for her when she released in January, but she also plans to start a small business with the knowledge gained from the months of class. She says she has learned a lot about how to write a business, plan, how to communicate effectively, and how to listen. Another inmate, Cynthia Thompson, is serving time for stealing someone's identity. She says, preparing inmates to become successful, accountable people will be good for the communities they re-enter. Mercy Coast Northwest started the training program four years ago. Mercy Corps is an international development organization. Doc Cooper is the assistant director of the Mercy Corps Northwest. He says, We were looking for ways that we could apply our expertise around economic development and small business management to population that could use it. It's identical to what we do internationally. Mercy Corps Northwest has just started a live program at the women's prison in neighboring Washington State. Doc Cooper says he hopes the idea will spread to reason throughout the country. The group says Chart three of the 100 graduates of its training program have returned to reason. Graduates, graduates of the live program have started business like cutting hair and selling handmade crab at farmers markets. One woman who served time for theft now runs now runs an automobile repair business. Lori does not want her last name used. She says she worry what we she worry what people might think if they knew she had been in prison. She stay in contact with a musical mentor after she left prison. Together, they power answers to questions about running a small business. For VOA special English, I'm a less very real villarist. You can download MP MTP MP. Three.
of our program and five English teaching activities at voasbesselenglish.com. This is the VOA Special English Technology Report. Solar water heaters are used throughout the world and are not very difficult to build. The system we are going to describe is based on a design developed some years ago in Afghanistan. Since then, it has been built and used in many countries. It can heat 70 liters of water to 60 degrees Celsius. It can do this between sunrise and noon on a clear day with an average air temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. There are two parts to the solar water heater. One part is made of the sheets of metal 